Hello my babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Justine for those of you that don't know me and today we're talking about beauty products that I cannot live without. Beauty products that have literally just knocked my socks off. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go. Ooh, girl, you guessed it. First up, we have the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, my absolute favorite. This is probably my most recommended product of all time. I will always use this to set my concealer underneath my eyes to brighten up the area. Also, always use this to clean up underneath my bronzer for a bit of a sharper look as well. Another use for this, which I love to use it for, is for my eyeshadows. So if you want to clean up a little bit along the edges, I'll take this on a dense brush and kind of just clean up the edges a little bit. This really works to brighten up those areas, like I said, and can really clean up your look a lot. Alrighty, so number two, we have the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler. I cannot recommend this enough, okay? If there was one item that I would put into my beauty bag if I was traveling to go around the world, this, if I was only allowed one product, I would bring this with me. I cannot explain to you how incredible this product is. So what it does is it adds so much fluffiness, so much fullness to the brows. The applicator does pick up quite a lot of product, so what I do recommend is that you start kind of in the middle of the brow, use it, feather it outwards, and then use whatever is left towards the beginning of the brow. I feel like you need the least product on the beginning of the brow. And what I like to do is brush the hairs quite a bit upwards, so almost like in this direction, so you get a lot of fluffiness and you're really brushing the hairs upwards and outwards. What I really like about this is it really hardens your brows. I don't know about you guys, but clear brow gels, yes, I'll use them, but they don't keep your hairs in place for as long as they should. This really hardens it. It's, it's literally like you're putting hairspray on your hairs. It like has this hardening effect. It's like... Next, number three, we are talking about brushes. I bet you didn't think we were talking about brushes in this video, but we are. These are from Essence. So cheap, so affordable, and I'm really, really enjoying these. So the first one that I'm showing you is the Essence Eye Blender Brush. So I use this to apply my highlighter. I like to take my highlighter lower down these days. I kind of, I'm digging the vibes. Um, so I use this as my highlighter brush. It picks up a lot of product. I feel like I can apply my highlighter exactly where I want it, how I want it. It gives a beautiful finish and it's really, really soft. I really, really love this one. The second brush from Essence is the smudging brush. I really like this one for underneath the lower lash line, but mostly what I use this for is the inner corner highlight. This is perfect for the inner corner. It fits in here perfectly, picks up product beautifully. I love this one. The third brush from Essence is the eyeshadow brush. I've only used this once, but I loved it so much that I'm putting it in this video. It's just incredible. So like I said, it's the eyeshadow brush. And what I like to do is I like to use this on the lower lash line, more towards like the outer edges, and then you can blend it out nicely. These brushes are awesome. They're so cheap. Get your hands on these if you haven't already. I feel like these actually work better than a lot of my high-end brushes, so these are definitely a win. Number four, we're talking about self-tanners. Guys, I need a lot of help sometimes. I'm super pale. My go-to is 110% Latan. I've used a lot of other brands, and what I love about this the most is, like the packaging says, it's super, super hydrating, and it doesn't have that self-tanner smell. It is so delicious. It feels like you're on a tropical island. That's what it reminds me of. It's just like coconut and margaritas. The standout feature from this product for me is I don't get any stains or any weird marks around my ankles, around my wrists, around my elbows, the dry kind of places. You know normally you can see it on your hands, it's like so obvious when someone has sultana. For some reason this does not do it. So I like to move between the ultra dark one and then this is just the normal one. Also the packaging is so beautiful. It just kind of depends what I want, if I want to be super tanned or if I just want to be normal tanned. You can leave it on for an hour, you can leave it on for two hours or for three hours, whatever you want and you can shower and it will still develop after your shower. These also last pretty long on the skin which is amazing because most sultanas I think they last about two three days this lasts about five days on the skin just make sure you're hydrating and keeping that tan in good condition what I really do recommend though is if you're wanting to use these is get yourself one of these mitts I just bought this from Dischem and this is really really nice because most mitts kind of just have the fabric and the fabric absorbs the product and the product goes straight onto your hand this doesn't do this this has a barrier over here and if you can see, it's like a plasticky kind of barrier, so your hands will never get the product on them. What I do is I apply this straight onto the mitt, and then I'll put it onto my skin in circular motions, and do that until it's buffed in nicely and I don't see any streaks. Then I'll put on some loose-fitting clothing, have a sleep, or leave it on for three hours if I'm doing this in the day, and you are good to go. Number five, we're talking about the Garnier... I don't know if I should say Garnier or Garnier. This is the Pure Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I don't know if you guys... No, I'm sure you guys have heard about this. So what Micellar Water does is it 
clings to the dirt and removes all the dirt out of your face, out of your pores, out of your face. I always use this after my makeup looks to remove my eye makeup. That's what I predominantly use it for. It says it removes makeup and cleanses and purifies and you don't need rinsing. So you could literally just use this and not wash your face with water. It's so gentle on the skin. I have very, very sensitive skin and I feel like this removes makeup beautifully. This is amazing for removing, you know, those lipsticks or matte liquid lipsticks that stain your lips and stay on your lips forever. This will take it off in two seconds. I love this stuff and I also keep this nearby on my makeup table so what I do is I'll put a little bit on a cotton pad like wet the cotton pad and I will dunk my brushes into this if I need it during my makeup looks. This is really good. Number six is the Dermafix Derma Polish Exfoliator. This lasts for really really long. I use this about two three times a week and I've had this for ages. So what you do is you put a little bit into the palm of your hand, add a bit of water and rub your hands together until it becomes like a bubbly kind of texture. It's really awesome. Then I apply that to the skin in circular motions. Even use this on sensitive areas like around the eyes. It exfoliates your skin really nicely without being too harsh and it also leaves a bit of a menthol feeling behind. So I'm just reading on the back here, it says it's gentle enough for daily use. This unique blend of organic enzyme rich powders micro exfoliates and cleanses the skin. It's packed in a dry form to maintain its effectiveness. Water activates the enzymes together with hydroxy acids, smoothing, softening and brightening the skin. It lightly exfoliates dead cells and accelerates cell renewal. And it says you're not tested on animals, no artificial colors, no animal ingredients, no parabens. So this is really, really good. I love this. I'm never going back. That brings us to the end of my beauty favorites. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe if you can. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.